Today we are going to talk about civic responsibility. What is civic responsibility? It's active participation in the public life of a community in an informed, committed, and constructive manner with a focus on the common good. Now let's pull this apart a little bit. So let's start with this word right here, participation. Participation can also mean to take part in. And this word right here, community, that means a group of people with something in common. And informed just means knowledgeable. Committed means dedication. And constructive means being useful. So, in simpler terms, civic responsibility is just to be useful and participate in your community, which means people that you have things in common with. How can we participate and become better citizens? So let's start by following the rules. Some of our classroom rules will help us be better citizens. How can we participate and become better citizens? Let's start by following the rules. Some of our classroom rules will help us be better citizens, but how? What are some of the classroom rules? One, follow directions. Two, be respectful. Three, raise your hand before you speak. Four, turn work in on time. And five, push yourself to be better. Now remember, these aren't all our classroom rules, but these are the ones we're going to make examples out of. Let's say you get a little older and you finally get your license to drive a car. You are so excited, but you never learn to follow directions. So when your driving instructor says you need to stop at stop signs and red lights, you blow it off. When you come to a stop sign, you think, it's okay to drive right through. There is a car coming right as you pull through. What happens next? Crash. You crash right into the other car. This could have been avoided if you had just followed directions. We do not want this to happen. Let's say you never learn to be respectful of other people. You get really sick and you're coughing and sneezing all over the place. And since you're not being respectful of others' people, you don't cover your mouth. What happens next? Everybody gets sick because of you. This could have been avoided if you were just respectful of other people's space. Let's say you never learned to wait your turn to speak. So now you go around interrupting everybody. What could happen next? Since you're always interrupting, nobody wants to talk to you anymore. It's too hard to have a conversation with someone who won't wait their turn. This could be you. You never learned to turn your work in on time and now you're working at a real job. Your boss gets upset because he needs things to get done on time. What could happen? Real life is a little different than school. You could get fired and no longer have a job. And this could be you. You never learned to push yourself to do better and you decide to take the easy way out of everything. What happens? You could never succeed at anything and your life would just be mediocre. Remember, rules are there for you to be an all-around better citizen in society. Our class rules are there for the better of everybody. Strive every day to become a better citizen. Thank you for listening.